Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and this is a tutorial to guide you through the assembly process of the late slide rest in KCRV5. On my previous tutorials I have shown you how you can create the different parts of the late slide rest and in this particular part of the tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can put all of them together and complete the assembly. So this is a guide to the assembly process and I'm not gonna really assemble it but I'm gonna show you quickly how you can assemble the parts together so what you can see over here is the compound slide base and I've hidden all the other parts for the sake of understanding I want to hide each part one by one uh, by explaining the different technique that you need to use to assemble the parts together now use insert existing component with positioning and first of all open the assembly workbench and then use insert existing component with positioning and click on the product first of all change the product name by right clicking and properties and change the product name over here to late slide rest and insert positioning and click over here and you get to open the uh, product the part file and insert the first part that's the compound slide base and you'll get a window over here click on the fixed component now the next thing you need to do and you get this particular output here now the next thing that you need to assemble together is the second component that's the screw spindle so again go to insert existing component with positioning and click on the late slide rest and what you need to do and you get the uh, window over here click on coincidence and make a coincidence constraint with this and this so let me just unhide it and this is what we get so we have an option of uh, moving this component with respect to this direction you can still move it okay only the coincidence constraint is being applied now the third thing is the sliding rest so I'll unhide it so this is a sliding rest what you can see here and the sliding rest will actually be coincident with this this one and this one so you can actually insert coincidence constraint alright so you get So just understand that uh, I got, I think uh, the file got some uh, error or something. You just ignore that and make sure that you're giving coincident with this part, with this part. Alright, now the fourth thing is uh, the slide block. So what you need to do is you need to coincide this hole with this uh, slide block here the, the sliding rest and the slide block should be coincident with this hole over here and uh, this particular part should have a contact constraint alright and let's uh, go ahead and uh, see what's the fifth part so the fifth part is the rear strip so that comes over here and it comes in um, adjacent with the uh, slide block and the slide wrist and uh, you have a hole over here through this hole we're gonna insert a nut and the next thing what you need to assemble is the sixth part sixth part before giving the sixth part fifth part is the wear strip is done and the sixth part is a washer so you need to insert keep a washer down here and just uh, I'll just hide the sixth part that's the washer let's just deal with it later and uh, we'll go to the seventh part that's the tool holder just insert the seventh part first the tool holder and make sure that you're giving a contact constraint over here and it comes in between over here and uh, if you have any doubts on uh, the assembly commands like coincident contact constraint which I talk about in this tutorial please go back to my uh, uh, my channel and 
uh, on the find button please type uh, coincidence constraint contact constraint because I don't want to repeat that again and again on my tutorials uh, to make my um, you know my subscribers or my viewers bored so I I'm not going to repeat the same thing so you can go back to the uh, channel and find out how you can do the contact constraint so this is just going to guide you through the assembly process so once the seventh part is being inserted you can insert the sixth part that's washer so you can insert you can do a coincidence over here and uh, the eighth part is a square head screw so just dial and hide it square head screw is over here so just uh, do a coincident and just move it a little bit downwards if you want you can give a offset constraint over there again if you have doubt in offset constraint please go back to my tutorial channel www.youtube.com slash user slash shaakazcatiav 5 online and uh, go to the search button and type the offset constraint and get it and uh, the ninth part that's a clamp plate the clamp plate comes over here so you need to do a coincident constraint first of all with this and this and again over here and here align if you do this one and this one will be sufficient this one will be automatically aligned and uh, that's the clamp plate and the tenth is the CSK screw we have two CSK screws both uh, have to be coincident and you need you need to move it a little bit inside and uh, the last one is the hex screw so 11th the hex screw which I talked about comes below over here alright and it comes right here so that's all and I hope by watching this tutorial uh, you, you're gonna assemble the uh, parts all together and form the late slide rest assembly and if you have any doubts on this uh, assembly procedure please comment below on the video and I'll be getting in touch with you if you want me to create a complete assembly process uh, from the scratch by breaking all of them down I can do it to get, uh, I can do it for you if it's required so thank you so much for watching and stay tuned and if you have any car projects you can write to me at getsia.pro.user at gmail.com thank you so much for watching and stay tuned